good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Shushi was liberated on May 9, 1992. Hero of Artsakh Varvanya Gavrila Brahman became immortal. The president of Artsakh received the responsible people of Hadrut Regional Administration and the leaders of a number of communities. No violations were recorded in the area of responsibility of peacekeepers in Artsakh, Minister of Defense of Russian Federation. Current issues within the framework of Armenian, French and Francophone Corporation in the field of education were discussed. Ancient Armenian culture. The presentation of the book of Mihran Pergic took place. Traditional Tzraton was celebrated in Javak. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The most brilliant and greatest achievement of the Armenian military art in the history of national liberation struggle of the Armenians of the late 20th century was the liberation of the fortress city of Shushi, which took place on May 9, 1992. The liberation of Shushi as a problem of the strategic importance of the long-standing cultural and political center of Artsakh was an irreversible imperative in the first war unleashed by Azerbaijan against the Armenians of Artsakh, who joined the national liberation movement and fought for their native land. The operation was called Wedding in the Mountains. In terms of development and implementation, this military operation, unique in Armenian military art, caused a radical change in the first Artsakh Liberation War. It really had several important meanings. Firstly, it was a historical necessity to restore the right of Armenian people to live in their native land. Thus, the Armenian victory spirit was strengthened, and the independence of the Republic of Artsakh became real. No matter how Azerbaijan tries to attribute itself to the Armenian Shushi, which first documents, Shushi was and remains an Armenian city in which the indigenous Armenian nation had lived for thousands of years. President of the Republic of Western Armenia Armena Gabrahamian expresses his deep condolences to the family of Vanya Gavril Abrahamian, his fellow brothers and relatives. We know how serious the loss of a fighting friend is. We have two problems. Let us be comforted that our fighting friends will replenish and strengthen our heavenly troops, the army, and secondly, let us remember again that we will fight and win at any cost. On May 6, President of the Republic of Artsakh, Aray Karutunyan, received the responsible officials of the administration of the Hadrut region, captured by Azerbaijan and the leaders of a number of communities who continued to pour their factions in the current situation. Special attention was paid to the need to review the amounts allocated from the state budget from a maintenance of state institution displayed from 2020 to the present and purposes of their provision. According to President Aray Karutunyan, one of the goals of the meeting is to organize interesting discussions on these decisions so that no issue is left out of the attention. The message reads, at the end of the meeting, the head of the state instructed the interested bodies to submit practical proposals on solving the discussed issues in short time, taking into account the needs and problems raised. The Russian peacekeeping contingent continues to carry out the task assigned to it in Artsakh. This is reported by Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. Russian peacekeepers are monitoring the situation at 27 observation posts around the clock. It is noted that no violations have been recorded in the area of responsibility of the peacekeeping contingent of the Russian Federation. Russian peacekeeping units escorted seven columns of the Azerbaijan armed forces along the Lachin corridor to the south. Engineering and sapper groups of the Russian peacekeeping contingent continue to mine objects in different areas. During that day, 0.5 hectares of the territory were cleaned. Monitoring was done in Shushi, Martaket, Martuni region, and in Lachin corridor. In order to ensure the safety of Russian peacekeepers and prevent possible incidents, the ongoing interaction with the general staff of the armed forces of Azerbaijan and Armenia is maintained. The message reads. Deputy Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of the Republic of Armenia, Artur Martirosyan, received the Ambassador of the French Republic to the Republic of Armenia and Loyud. The meeting was also attended by the Ambassador's Advisor of Culture and Corporation, Gulen Marjolet, and the Touch for Education and University, Céline Guerin. A number of issues on the Armenian-French agenda were discussed at the meeting, including the implementation of the agreements reached within the framework of the Forum on Armenian-French Corporation, dedicated to the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Armenia and France in Paris, in March this year, other issues of mutual interest were also discussed during the meeting. 
Numerization said to Cyclopean fortresses have been discovered on the territory of Western Armenia. Rich tombs have been excavated. The weapons, tools, household items, and jewelry found in them testify to the old and high cultural developments. The Arad Kingdom played a great role in formation and development of the ancient Armenian culture. The progress of Urartian culture coincides with the strengthening of the state. Most of the funds belong to the king of Menua, Argishti I, and Sarduris II, carefully preserving and enriching their own, the Armenian people have made their worthy contribution to the common culture treasure of the peoples of the earth. The presentation of the book Traces of Our Existence, written by a citizen of Western Armenia, Western Armenia Member of Parliament Mihran Parkic, took place in the Yerevan Tekian Center. The event took place in a crowded hall, among which there were also citizens of Western Armenia, culture figures, and researchers. During the event, Mihran Parkic told in detail the story of the creation of the book, which is directly related to the fate of Armenians living in Western Armenia before and after the genocide. It was not foreseen that even now the hidden Armenians with great difficulty preserve their national and religious identity and remain unnoticed along their various problems. The presentation of the book was held in a warm atmosphere. At the end, it was a talk between the author and the guests. Another MP from Western Armenia, Sahak Mutafian, was present at the presentation and told about himself, who will soon publish a book presenting the story of his family. Stratton Day, like every year, began with rain, but this did not prevent people from celebrating this holiday with joy. Stratton has a unique meaning for them. Every year on this day, the villagers, regardless of age, gather at the church St. Georg, which is called the Stratton Monastery. The students of the graduating class of the village celebrate the event with song, dances, and high spirits. Young people from different villages of the district come for the holiday. They come to see the girls, the adults love. According to the women, it is possible to avoid violating the rules of Tiraton with possible consequences by throwing back the barley, turning the world, and the process you need to say, what a bad thing I've done, please correct. Dear compatriots, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in self-promotion. Our long-term work is aimed at preserving and developing the ties of our compatriots with the motherland. In this historical period, it is the duty of all of us to support our national demands, to stand together against the challenges we face and achieve the establishment of our just rights, which unfortunately is ignored in modern international relations. Our struggle is lasting, but the victory is unstoppable. Western Armenia expects your effective assistance on this difficult path that we will work together. Together we can do more. Now musical part Armenian song Ashok Jivani. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.